this when I die, I fear of burned to ash and scattered on the street with the rest. for the Sparker card? What are you looking for on Sparker? What do you mean? Well, you know, some people are only here for one reason. Yeah, right now, my head is in a totally different place, and I, I'm not looking for love. Good. Because neither am I. Oh, so, um... Can I buy you a drink? Uh, well, listen. Would you mind watching my son sometimes? His name's Jacob. Wait, what? Wouldn't you like to spend some time with him? Thirteen-year-olds aren't that bad. It's the best age, actually. You could show him some parkour tricks, some combat. You know, Jake could use a father figure. Wait, hold up. You're on Sparker, because you're looking for a babysitter? He's not a baby. Haven't you been listening? Anyway, I told you I got this job on a farm. So what would you say to a bag of potatoes per hour? I'm sure you've got a great kid, and hell, I'd even like to help you, but... There's just too much going on with me right now, okay? Sure, Aiden, I get it. Good luck with all that. Uh, hey, I'm that pilgrim. What's wrong? It was you? <laughs> Great. We got our ration today, but Maria here wants to use it all to wash her hair. Because I can't stand another fucking day like this. Just because you don't mind hair like a sheep overdue for shearing, doesn't mean... All I want is to water the plants, Maria. What good will your shiny hair be if you starve to death? It's gonna rain tonight. I'm sure of it. You'll use up the water, and then it'll rain. Those plants don't need that much water anyway. It's your way of showing me you don't care about my needs. I'm sure you can figure this out. Um, look, maybe you could wash your hair and then reuse the water for crops. No way soapy water can harm them. And germs can harm me. I get it. I don't need to shower every week, but I need to maintain a basic level of hygiene. What if you used plant-based soap? Where do you get that? I, I don't know exactly, but you've got a garden. And during my travels, I heard that some plants can be used as a soap base. That sounds legit. 
You could use the plant-based soap to wash, which would allow us to reuse the water without harming the crops. We could look it up in that old plant atlas we've got. Why not? Thank you, Pilgrim, for helping us out. Again. Yeah, <laughs> no problem.
because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 
This place is a pigsty. Is this some kind of collector or what? Hmm, that ain't no proof. Aiden, hurry up. Someone's coming your way. Ah, great. Get out of there! Now! Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Back on. I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't no let's... Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> on here for fuck's sake are you nuts he's he's setting us up this fucking pilgrim is framing us what is he talking about aiden i found the proof hidden among your things proof o of what you cut the tattoo from commander lucas's arm after his death or when he was still alive you're out of your mind i didn't do it maybe you didn't but your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here.
going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Well, hello, customer. It's a done deal. Coming back. You see what got a hanker in for blueprints? That was some good stuff. Take it easy. Get it here. Looking to trade? Been looking for those. Bring more of those. Just what I need. Could always use these. Guess you were too hasty. Definitely. Always need this. Come back later. Check my stuff out. So? We have a deal. Thanks, man. How may I help you? Yeah, I'll take that. Come back again. See anything you like? Found under a glass ceiling somewhere on Old Mound Street. Come back soon, okay? Haven't seen my kids in months. Because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Fuck me. People will always complain. We keep alive, and that's what counts. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, Sarah. <laughs>
hour. You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. <laughs> My duty to serve you.
inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio diary from the people who live in the hall. <laughs> This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the- Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory, provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. What can I do for you? Hey, Alberto. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Philistine! Beetle shells are great protection! This is top craftsmanship made from the finest quality materials. Built from... Uh-oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out. He's gonna blow! <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter. And better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. 
Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests! No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop? The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, we win? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Aethor can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay. Go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. That'll give the PKs a surprise. I'm no PK fan, but whoever carved the skin of their commander was a certified Good seeing you. psycho.
shit. What happened here? What's going on here? PKs. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our Molotovs and went ape shit. Slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. The couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. Alberto? The charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Oh. Oh, my. Exactly. Ada. Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the charges. Without them, the yeah. plan cannot proceed. Doing what I can. I'll be in touch. PK's ambushed your transport. He searched everyone and everything. Eventually they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly something scared them off. And what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um, they were in the yard. Come on, maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few of the infected showed up. Everyone scattered, probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Where's your father? There you are! Only two? PKs took the rest. Damn, damn it, triple damn! Because of that traitor, our plan is in danger! We must act quickly! No, nitrates. We need fertilizer, then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we'll need to make more bombs. I know a guy lives on a rooftop. Friend, a foe, and depends. Killian, you know him? My Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to... How to... Uh, uh, I know the way, thanks. By a thousand fireworks! Get a move on, Pilgrim! I am in the bazaar today. 
Killian! Killian! It's Aiden! You there? Killian! Bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PKs. They raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor. He sold us all out. Hayden, Dad, went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Just make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. There's Hakon. Back then, everyone must have thought BFFs forever. I've been down, Hayden. Another patrol. You have to do it without me. Join my dad. I'll be on the radio the whole time. Me and your dad? You think that's a good idea? We have no choice, Hayden. Hurry. if you noticed, but Dad's kind of awkward and unappreciated. This is a chance to show Carl, Sophie, everyone at the bazaar that they were wrong. What Dad's made of, what he can do. He'll be the hero of the bazaar after this one. He always wanted to do something big. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. I'll stay with you on the radio. Hello? Vincenzo? Hello? Vincenzo, I... I can't hear you. No, okay. You have to... What? What do I have to do? Fertilizer. Are you sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. The windmill's causing too much interference. 
The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as pie. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do... Me and you will do... No reason we won't do just... Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Like I said, easy as pie. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Eugene Kirkland, chairman of the Dynamo Cars Electric Car Factory Workers Union. Employees of Dynamo Cars. As you all know, the Council of Mankind issued a decree today allowing military to seize the factory. I'm sure many of you are concerned. It's only natural. Dynamo Cars is our home. It allows us to provide a home for our families. But today's action serves a greater good, a higher purpose. A higher purpose for us all, upon which the very future of mankind depends. In a time when darkness has fallen suddenly upon us, we have the power to cast a ray of hope. God willing, with your courage, you will make this your home again as it becomes a solar plant, providing the power that will reshape the city around us. I know what I am asking of you, but as we think of you continuing to provide you work, you think of how you will serve your neighbors as you adapt to these important changes. It is time to make history. All of humanity is watching us. Let's get to work. The bombs are ready. We need to see the plan through to the end. What's he doing here? Fuck off. You don't want to piss me off. Ah! <laughs> 
Explosives are in place. Time for the fireworks. Would you like the honors? I know how much this means to you. That isn't triggering. Must be interference from the wind. Uh, it doesn't look like it did much. The windmill's still standing. I mean, look, the rotor's still spinning. Vincenzo's calculations. They must be off. It's fixed in a flash. Gotta see this through. It's my fault. What are you doing? An armed bomb? Before the PKs get here. Giving you an armed... Um, ah, armed... 
We can't rely on radio detonation. Not with all the interference. What now? This one is guaranteed to blow up the whole windmill. All right, how much time do I have? Let me count. Mm. It'll blow any second! Run! But where am I supposed to put it? Where? You have to go back! A and? And plant it on... Uh, place it on... Put it on... The Leave it by the base of the windmill? No! That will accomplish nothing! Planet, planet where? On the generator? No! Not there! On the rota! You have to climb up to the rota! To the very top? You serious? The bomb's ticking, Aiden. You really think we have time for jokes? Faster. Go on. Hello? Hey, Alberto? I'm coming! You sons of bitches! What have you done to him? That's what I call 
and boom. <laughs> I got my boom. <laughs> you, you, you got them pretty good. Huh? And we, we got them good. Without you, the windmill would still be standing. Almost like the fireworks in 90... Uh, 90... Uh, even... Ah, oh, man. I'm old. And you'll just keep getting older. Quit the bullshit, Aiden. I'm not that adult. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> I know what they think of me. Of course I know. <laughs> Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. Okay. That's <laughs> thanks to you, Alberto. No. Thanks to a Vincenzo, okay? They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. <laughs> but now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. See, he's, he's old man's, huh? Not a cook or a, or a failure anymore. Force the peacekeepers to withdraw. Say it was him. Promise me. All right. Okay. Oh, and tell him. Tell him that. That's okay. I'll tell him. That I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. I'll tell him for you. I promise. I still have to take care of. You don't get it. There's no time to waste. We can make our way to the center now. Everyone's too busy to notice. I promised Alberto I'd tell his son something for him. Do you want to finish your business or play shepherd spreading the good word? Well, it's bad news, Hakan. Alberto is dead. I see. But the metro is empty. There might never be another chance like this. Are you sure? I have to go find Vincenzo, Hakon. I promised. A night fucking errand. Hurry! Remember Sarah and Yana. Find me at their place when you're done. If you're still alive.
kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of fluid. So it was Carl who betrayed them. Bite the bullet, John. Leave it tomorrow. I call that a wrap. All cleaned up. Didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, because they're cowards. Told you before. What about the prisoners? Throw them in the dungeon? Unless you feel like banging them first. Look. It's Chubbs. They killed Chubbs? Looks like it. But only him, I think. We gotta tell Anderson. Yeah, but where is she? Should have been here ages ago. I'll look for her. Anyone got a cigarette? <laughs> 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 It was over, man. I can't believe Carl betrayed us. Fuck, Pilgrim. At first I thought you gave us up. But Carl... If it wasn't for him, the Peacekeepers wouldn't have attacked. But he fled right after the blast. There are more on the upper level. Okay, I'll go there. You run. I'm recording this for posterity, so they can learn from my mistakes. To warn all who follow about the worst of plagues. And I am not referring to the virus. I was born into a very religious family. My earliest childhood memories? Prayer. Every morning and every evening. Knees scraped from constant contact with oak floorboards. 
When I grew up, I had a very hard time. I was lonely. I suffered. Despite my upbringing, I turned to religion for solace. It gave me the answers I sought. That I came to realize my father had tried to give me. To endure bullying is to earn heavenly rewards. God was my best friend. My only friend. I talked to him every day. And I believed that he listened to me and answered and loved me too. I felt like I owed him a debt. And that's why I enrolled in seminary. I think I became a fanatic in a way. The urge to spread his teachings, convert others. It was not about God. It was about my own shortcomings. It was about me. There was something unhealthy about it. And dangerous. Hey. Aiden? Yeah, don't be scared. It's safe now. <sighs> Thank you. Hey, Sophie. So where's Vincenzo? Aiden, watch out! Aiden's gonna pay me hella gold for you! Good! Shit! <laughs> Guy wasn't even worth a golden shower. Get up, Aiden. Thanks, man. That makes us even. It's not over yet. Aiden! Aiden! Come on, Whoa. coward! Come down and fight! You better get out of here, Anderson. You're on bizarre turf. Look, tell Aiden there's still time to call this off. Why would he do that? We're winning. You're stupider than I thought. Come down and fight. And stop using your bizarre buddies as human shields. Aiden, no! Get out, asshole! Traitor! <laughs> I don't know why I trusted you! Aiden? We have reports that Aider's men are retreating. The plan worked. We took out their lights and the infected tore them to pieces. They don't stand a chance without him. Ader withdrew his men. They're in the metro tunnels. We're not getting to the center that way. Carl betrayed us. He's the one who went to the peacekeepers and warned them. Claimed he wanted to prevent bloodshed, but made things worse. But now, I run the bazaar. And I promise, we will defeat Ador. And I will take you to the central loop. Sophie runs the bazaar! For Sophie! <laughs> they know how many PK creeps it takes to screw in a light bulb? None! Because they're too dead to screw anything! <laughs> Alberto's dead. <laughs> Don't be a buzzkill, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. He was killed taking down the windmill. How'd it happen? We put Vincenzo's plan into motion, but then... Alberto had to go in his son's place. Sacrificed himself to blow up the windmill. Fuck me. To Alberto! To Alberto! So... Where's Vincenzo? He's outside. Look around. Vincenzo. <laughs> we did it, 
did, Aiden. My dad, he really did it. Your father wanted me to tell you, um, he's always been proud of you. Very proud. What? Why are you telling me this and not him? He died, Vincenzo. Died for the bazaar. Was he in pain when he died? No, he was all smiles because of you. And because he was able to carry out your plan. Thanks for being there with him, Aiden. Your dad kicked ass, Vincenzo. Yeah, Alberto's all right. Hell of a craftsman. For a loser, you mean. For a failure. That's what you used to say. If only we had more like Alberto, the PKs would have been gone ages ago. You... Go in and check on Vincenzo. Now! You did a freaking awesome job, Aiden. We'll beat the PK and we'll help you get to the center. You're one of us now, brother. You're part of the Bazaar family. Thanks, Barney. Good luck. Good luck, Pilgrim. Hey, Hakon. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the girl's place. You'd better hurry, Aiden. The passage to the center, it's blocked. I have another idea. Just come quickly. Time is not on our side. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> 